end of another month. Yes, I know that we still technically have a couple of days left in January, but in today's video, I am wanting to share with you the candles that I finished burning through in the month of January. Hard to believe. I know it feels like Christmas was just here, but it's not. Also, I want you to uh, please forgive me for any background noise going on. My family is currently home. So what I am going to do is I'm going to film this introduction for you and then I'm going to go ahead and get behind the camera and let you see the candles that I finished up, the empty vessels up close and personal. Let me know in the comment box down below if you like that type of format. I know some of you earlier, like in my earlier days of this channel, said that you really kind of appreciate being able to see the candles up close. So leave a comment down below if that is the way that you like watching these videos. Also, if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Katie. I like to talk about all things candles here, whether that is empties or uh, detailed reviews or maybe some hauls or I even have like a bi-monthly candle chit chat video and everything in between please make sure you hit that subscribe button um trying to think is there anything else that I need to cover here oh uh the reason that I'm putting this empties video up a little bit earlier than I normally do is because it is kind of going to be part of a two-part series that I'm going to be doing every month um you guys will see what I'm talking about later on this week. and But trust me, this video will be pertinent to those series. All right, let's go ahead and get into the empties. All right, so I honestly didn't finish as many candles as I was hoping to in the month of January. If you happen to have caught my January candle chat videos, in there I talked about all of the candles that I was burning this month and to be honest there was a variety of candles because I felt like you know once I was a little bit freed from the uh, mindset of I had to burn all things Christmas January felt more like I could really have more of a variety of candles to burn and so that's what I was doing but I did have some success and I did finish up a couple of candles so we're gonna go ahead and start out with this homeworks candle that I purchased from TJ Maxx for $12.99 this candle is by the fireside. Fragrance notes of warm embers, mold spices, golden amber, and cedar wood. The pour date on this candle was November 9th of 2021. Now this was a three wick jar. I will be saving this vessel because I love it. It's so, so pretty. But as you can see here, it burned pretty well all the way down. This one did have, um, I don't want to say puny wicks at some point. Um, it was weird, like the flames kind of varied on this burn. This fragrance is one of my favorite wintertime fragrances, though. I especially love it in the month of January. Um, but it burned pretty well for me. Strength and throw on this particular candle, I feel like was, you know, I finished up a little while ago. In the beginning, I would say this one was around like a seven. It was, it was pretty solid. Um, just a lovely kind of sweet, um, not really smoky fragrance, but it is like a hearth type of fragrance, but it's very sweet. Um, there's some other candles in here that I finished burning alongside this one and I'll tell you which ones those are but this is a fragrance that I highly recommend it is probably one of my favorite like fireside type of fragrances you're seeing back here a nest holiday and you're probably going to look at this and be like what on earth is that about so what I did was I finished most of my nest holiday candles in December I actually forgot to put them in my December candle empties because I also reused these vessels and I had gone and already um, emptied it out and washed it out and put them back in like my cabinetry and then after I filmed the video I was like oh my word I forgot to include those but one of the things that I did was when I burned these nest single wicks there's usually about like this much of wax left in it's like the wick uh, burns out before that and so what I did was I collected the wax from a couple of jars I finished I believe two other one of these candles and I threw them into this vessel and then what I did was I put it in my candle crock so that way I could get just a little bit more of that glorious fragrance nest holiday is a staple from the brand um, it's got a little bit of citrus and pomegranate and tree um, it's just a beautiful classy holiday fragrance as the name would imply all right, a Kringle Reserve candle that I finished up. And this one, honestly, I was a little bit sad to see go because this is Dalgona. This was part of the 2023 uh, like Reserve Gourmand collection. I believe it came out in like late January, early February of that year. And oh my word, this one, you can see all the way down there. You can see the wick moved slightly. Now, here's one of the things that I will give some feedback for Kringle. I extinguish my wicks with a wick dipper. 
And when the uh, wax pool gets deep enough, sometimes I notice that when I go to extinguish my wicks, the wicks can kind of detach. The wick clips, should I say, can detach at the bottom. Now for me, I'm home when I'm burning my candles and I just keep an eye on them. Um, but because I burn my candles in hurricanes, sometimes that happens a little bit more often. But my feedback to Kringle would be maybe look into that a little bit and see if the glue that you're using to extinguish the wicks um, or like to hold the wicks down um, would be able to stay in place more so for those of us who choose to use a wick dipper. Um, but this fragrance was lovely. It was like a cream kind of I don't want to say hazelnut but um creamy coffee type of fragrance oh it was so so good you get a little bit of chocolate in there oh just a lovely fragrance I loved this in the morning I loved it in the evening it was super strong for me well like strong for these Kringle two wicks um I would say this one was a solid eight for me great performer that one is currently out of stock also forgot to tell you guys that if there are any of these candles currently available. I will have them listed and linked down below. I am a brand ambassador for both Kringle and Homeworks. Um, my discount code at Kringle is Katie15. It saves you 15% off of your order and my discount code with Slotkin and Co also known as Homeworks, is Katie's Joyful Life, and that saves you 15% on orders over $40. So if any of these are still currently in stock, um, I will have them listed below. All right, so the candle that I really liked burning with that Dalgona, nobody's surprised to see this in here, coffee and whiskey. Bold Irish whiskey, splash of vanilla, hint of coffee. So this is a fragrance that honestly, it's funny, it's marketed like you would think like, oh, that's probably going to be boozy or it's going to be super like an espresso. But the um, the vanilla note in here is kind of what comes out. This is not a boozy fragrance to my nose. This is a nice, um, the vanilla is kind of like the vanilla that they're known for, say in like vanilla bean or uh, what was the other one? Like vanilla and musk. It's like that same vanilla base note. The coffee note is not like what you get in Paris Cafe. It's not really like an espresso note. Um, really, really nice fragrance. I have, I think, two more of these currently in my collection. It's just one of my staple favorites. Um, and go ahead and look there. Look at the the uh, burn around there. Now, this one did not burn as dirty on me as, say, some that I've had in the past, but that was because I really monitored it. I made sure I didn't burn this more than three hours. But still, yeah, there's a little bit of soot around there. Does it deter me from burning this fragrance? No, because I absolutely love it. All right, we're staring over here at a candle. This is the one that I burned alongside with that Hallmarks by the Fireside. This is Kringle's Cozy Cabin, another January staple in my home. This smells kind of like it's um, kind of got some cedar wood. It's got um, maybe a little hint of sweetness from like a maple in the background, but it's not like cloying maple. It's definitely... Um, like maple that you would find actually on the tree. I know that sounds weird, but it's like a woodsiness to the maple. The picture that is on this definitely like describes what I think of when I smell this. I, I envision being inside a cabin like this with a surrounding like this. It is one of my favorite wintertime fragrances. Now I will say that this candle is not a super strong one. In fact, um, in this two wick format, um, it's really like in that like low medium. I really wish that they would come out with this one in like a four wick um, because I would be curious to see if the strength and throw improved. Also, this one you'll see gets a, got a little bit sooty towards the end there. And that is because towards the end, I usually just let my candles burn a little bit longer if I know that they're going to like self extinguish pretty soon. So you can see it got a little bit sooty around there. But again, it doesn't really matter because I burned my candles in hurricanes. I did have Cozy Cabin in a three wick. This was from late 2022. And sorry if you guys see me dusting this off. Um, I actually keep my candles out in my garage in a box. Um, and they are stored next to, I have like a big container of flour. And so whenever I pull the flour bin out, um, some of the excess flour gets on here. So you can see this was the three wick. And again, see how the wicks kind of moved a little bit? That's because when I extinguish them, the um, wick clips kind of detached again. So like I was just talking about with Kringle on there. Um, let me see. Oh, you know what? The fragrance notes are actually listed on Cozy Cabin. Firewood, cedar wood, brown sugar, cinnamon bark, vanilla, warm maple. Yeah, definitely cedar wood, firewood, um, brown sugar, but it's not like a caramelized brown sugar. I don't detect like cinnamon, like red hot cinnamon. 
Um, it's just, it's nice. It's woodsy, but it's not cologne like woodsy. And I actually really liked the, uh, the, what would that be? Like the packaging on here, the painting. I don't know. What do we want to call this? I think it's painting. Um, really nice packaging on that one. All right. Let's see here. I have a Yankee candle here. All right. This is holiday zest and you're looking at it going, Katie, that is not empty. No, it is not. What happened with this? Well, <laughs> I mean, this poor candle really looks like a mess right now. All right. So this candle, you will see um, what happened there. Well, this candle got to about the halfway mark right here. And the wicks started to get very low on me, or the flame, I should say, on the wicks got really, really low. So much so that like it really was not putting out any fragrance. Now that's kind of a shame because this is a really nice fragrance from Yankee. Um, they did just release their new three wick candles and stay tuned for the video that I have coming up later this week because I did purchase two of them and I will be sharing kind of like my first thoughts. Um, but this candle is lovely. It's obviously like their orange pomander type of fragrance. So because I was not getting really any fragrance coming from the, um, flame on the wicks, I decided to go ahead and put it in my candle crock. Now my candle crock is currently over at my dad's house. Um, for those of you who are new here, um, my father unexpectedly passed away last summer. And so my sister and I are in the process of selling his home. He lived in the same community that I live in. So I'm kind of like <laughs> the caretaker, I guess, of the home. And since we have it listed and on the market, I wanted the house to smell good. And so I went ahead and put this over in the candle crock at his house. It smelled really, really nice. Um, I let it I let it go there for probably like a week and a half. And then you can see what happened with the wick, with the wax here was I went ahead and picked it up the other day. And as I was driving back, of course, the wax had not cooled. And so it kind of was like splashing around in my car. So that's why it looks kind of wonky like that. Um, but I love the fragrance. Very curious to see how the new three wick format works out. But um, yeah, I... <laughs> I don't see myself purchasing Yankee in this size of a format. Again, just because I'm not having the best success with that. Um, the three wick format is really where I'm at with the Yankee candles. All right, here's another one that I did do a dedicated review on. Again, if I have dedicated reviews on any of these candles, I will make sure that I have those also linked in the description box. So this is Tiramisu from Homeworks. This candle was sent to me in PR back, I want to say in September or October of 2023. And of course, by then I was full on into fall and holiday and I'm a seasonal burner. So I set this one aside to burn in the month of January. Fragrance notes on this are whipped mascarpone, espresso beans, lady fingers, and vanilla bean. This one was okay for me. It was very light. Um, not one that I would repurchase just based on the fragrance. Like it was nice to have in my collection once. Um, but if you want further details about what the fragrance was on this, I will go ahead and direct you to that dedicated review. But um, packaging was really nice on it and it did burn like all the way down. So that's a good thing. And you can see like not really a ton of soot or dirtiness either. So that was a good solid burn. But um, yeah, I'll direct you to the dedicated review. Sorry, I'm knocking over my stuff here. All right, another Hallmarks candle that I finished up, Snow Tip Pine. Also did a dedicated review on this. This one's been around for a couple of years. This is a beautiful, beautiful January fragrance. I love this scent. Um, I actually don't really care for it at Christmas time. It doesn't scream like Christmas tree to me. This is definitely like cold air, winter forest type of vibes. Oh man, it is so, so good. <laughs> My wax again, you guys, sometimes like I'm in such a hurry to just move on to the next candle when one extinguishes that I'm like, well, onto the next one. And I don't even let the wax cool. So that's why it kind of looks a little bit funny. Fragrance notes on snow-tipped pine are pine needles, alpine juniper, white birch, and woods. And again, I will direct you to the dedicated review on this one if you want more information about the strength and throw. But again, another one that burned pretty solidly all the way down. Let's talk about um, a candle that I love pairing with that snow-tipped pine. It is Kringles Away in a Manger. I also liked pairing um, Holiday Zest from Yankee with that, with that fragrance. Um, Away in a Manger. So this was one of the, I call it the reject candles from Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom. Mr. Kong's mom. Oh my word, you guys. Let's get my words together. Um, this was like one of... Um, the sample candles that they had sent to her when they she was looking for um, the fragrance profile to put together for her um, vintage pomander fragrance. And 
she didn't go with this one, but she said, you guys should still use this. And of course, Kringle did. Um, beautiful orange clove type of fragrance. Um, I did do a, I think I did do a dedicated review on this one in the three wick format, which you see back there. And I'll pull that up in just a moment. I did one of those in, I think late 2022. Um, so you can go ahead and look back on that, but this is a really strong candle for me. This is probably the most, um, what would I say? Dominant, uh, like orange pomander fragrance like this is the strongest one that I've owned and this there's this one I have vintage pomander I have Yankees holiday zest I have bath and body works bath and body works winter is not an orange pomander fragrance but it goes really nicely with this one um but this is a fragrance that I love a lot I actually have a two wick large jar of it in my collection for probably next January I'm kind of over these vintage pomander type of fragrances um well not vintage pom Ugh, you guys know what I mean. Orange Pomander. I'm kind of over them. This was again in the three wick format. It didn't come back this year, but I had purchased this in late 2022 um, in an after Christmas special. Oh, and the thing I was going to tell you on the other on the other candle, the reason why you saw the wicks missing, I'll go ahead and pull it back up again. The reason why you saw the wicks missing on this one is because I have um, a this size jar of Sicilian orange from Kringle that unfortunately when I was moving my candles around it accidentally fell and the glass is kind of shattered on it but the wax is still intact as are the, the like clippings so I was thinking that I'm going to go ahead and repurpose this jar I'm going to wash it out and repurpose it to go ahead and put that candle in this one so that's why um, I already kind of pulled out the wicks on it and so I'm going to get this whoa okay let's not break that one too um, give that a good cleaning all right and then finally the last homeworks candle I have is cozy weekend again another candle that um, I have another backup of this I also have it in the three wick format um, that one kind of dudded out for me the wicks did so that one will go into my candle crock but I did do a dedicated review on this one. Fragrance notes of cozy woods, roasted almond, clover, honey, and vanilla. This is like, if you like cozy fragrances, I feel like this is a scent that is good pretty much, I would dare I say, almost year round. Um, maybe not in the summer because I'm just kind of seasonal in that, but this is a lovely, lovely fragrance. It's slightly perfumey, but there's a touch of gourmand with that honey and almond note in here. It's not a clean cotton fragrance. Um, it's just really, really nice. And I love the label on this. It's beautiful when it's lit up. Again, I will direct you to the dedicated review, but you can see again, another really clean, good, solid burn on that one. So really nice fragrance. So again, this empties video is a little bit shorter than um, some of the other ones. I didn't finish up as much as I had hoped to. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of put these all back in here as I'm finishing talking up. Um, but I'm hoping that I will have even more um, to show you in the month of February. I have some fun things coming up on my channel, um, particularly this week and also coming up in the first part of February. I will be sharing with you shortly what I plan to burn in the month of February. I am actually currently finishing up. Um, you will probably see them in next month empties, but by the time I was filming this, I wasn't completely done. Two other candles that I am really close to finishing are Kringle's Vintage Pomander. Um, that's Melanie collab candle with them in the reserve lineup. I'm also really close to finishing up Kringle's Snowbird. Um, what are two other ones? Um, oh, the, what's the one I just did a review on last week? A lot of you guys didn't see that review. It's Homework's Black Tie. And I'm telling you, you guys, that is probably one of the most underrated candles in my collection. So you might want to go check out that review because um, I feel like that one is like flying under the radar and it is like a really nice candle. So it's kind of a spoiler alert, I guess, to my review. But anyways, let me know in the comment box down below. Do you love empties? Did you find yourself finishing up as many candles as you thought you would this month? Or were you kind of like <laughs> just doing a hodgepodge of fragrances like me? And you're like, wow, I didn't really burn through as much as I thought I would. Uh, I would like to know. Also, like I teased in the intro, I do have a video coming up this week where it's going to be kind of, I will say the finale to 
the candle collection series of videos that I did throughout the month of January. But in the same way, it's also kicking off a new series that I'm going to have monthly on my channel where I'm basically going to be sharing with you the state of my candle collection. We're going to be going over um, exactly how many candles I have in my collection every month. It doesn't mean I'm going to repeat how many I'm showing you, but what it means is that I'm going to go ahead and share with you candles that I brought into my collection throughout the month, um, candles that I decluttered from my collection, and we're going to take those numbers combined with the total number of candles that I had shown you throughout the month, um, and we are actually going to have an accurate number of how many are in my collection. And I hope that it inspires you maybe to um, give some love and priority to the candles that you currently own. All right, that is it for this video. Thumbs up if you found it enjoyable. Please hit that subscribe button if you like to stick around for content like this. And I want to say thank you so very, very much for spending your time here with me today. Until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.